who can't see as well, and you get to do different things. Like we get to do archery. That was really good. That was a really good shot. And we went swimming, and at the deep end there's a rock wall that I got to the top of. Oh, this year we had a lot more kids, which means it was a lot more fun, a lot more adventures. Um, I think the kids really had a lot of fun meeting new people. You get to do like a whole lot of activities. Like there's a there's like a, a lodge. There's activities like swimming, arts and crafts. You make you get to make collages. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can do anything you want. It's about uh, having fun, trying new things even though that some people are scared and that's okay. You know, that's normal, being scared of trying new things. But I go slow. We've got another great year of camp underneath our belt. We had awesome time. The kids had a blast. We had a wide range of abilities at camp this year and we were able to challenge kids at each of their abilities. So we had kids that climbed three stories high we had kids that made new friends. We had kids that did activities for the first time. With Campfire, we run program, day program, and resident camp program all summer. And this week, we have the opportunity to partner with Alpha Point and bring our, our Alpha Point friends out for an outdoor program experience. So we spend the week just doing typical uh, summer camp activities. Woo! We just do our best to alter those activities in a way that will most benefit uh, the Alpha Point campers. It is a climbing tower. It just has a bunch of posts on it. Yeah. And then if you bring your hand down here, that is the foot post like, that you put your feet on so you can climb. What happens if we fall? If you fall, you're tied on. And that's why we got that's why we got the harnesses and the helmets and everything. I thought it would be much, much, much harder than it was. But it, it really wasn't. I, I didn't think I'd go that high, but I guess I surprised myself. I you. went Good to the job. top. Get back up there. You're very close to it. Just reach up with your left hand a little bit more. Uh, at moments, it was pretty hard, but I mean, there were some parts that were pretty easy, but most of the time, it was a challenge. I did it. You know, I've seen grown men go up there and cry, and I've seen you <laughs> get up there to the very top. Excellent job. Give me a high five. Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity. Um, I was in a public school when I had um, my vision begin to fluctuate and so having others know what you're going through or being able to be like one of the normal kids is a really big deal. These kids a lot of times are the only student in their school who's blind or visually impaired and so they don't know how it is to, to make friends a lot of times. I don't hang out with many people who have a vision problem, except for here. And this is rare that I find uh, I'm hanging out with people somewhat like me. You think about young people who are visually impaired in their own schools, there may be nobody else like them in school. And when some of those other kids are uh, in PE or in different kinds of experiences, they're uh, segregated and they're having to uh, catch up to speed, uh, maybe learn Braille. Uh, things of that nature. So this is an opportunity for them to have some shared experiences with other kids that are, uh, are having similar uh, difficulties with vision. The Nature Center I saw some bones, I mean, yeah, like bones, like insides of animals, and it was kind of cool. It wasn't very disgusting. It was kind of cool. I like that because we got to touch a snake and we got to hold a box turtle. And we saw a barn owl, which was mostly all white. It was a girl. And we got to see a bunny, which was really soft. And I said it was like a little cloud. Some of these kids did things this week that they said they would never do. I heard two of them when we were at the Nature Center that said they would never touch a snake, never, ever touch a snake. And both of those girls that were on either side of me touched a snake. What did you think about touching that? Uh, too smooth. It was looking kind of weird. Were you scared to touch it? Yeah. Did you I'm touch it anyway? Yeah, I just took I just took it slow. For any individual to say, I'm not going to do it, I will not do it, I'm too scared to do it, and then do it, I think is a huge feat. Especially these kids who are blind or visually impaired. They have all kinds of challenges. We have no idea how many challenges they face throughout their day. So many things that they'll say, I'm not going to do. And this week, we can bring some of those opportunities to them, maybe give them some encouragement. They do the thing that they didn't think they can do, and the confidence that I can see that they've built over the course of the week is huge. My visit to the horse barn was so fun. I got to pet a horse and uh, I got to touch the horse. I petted a horse and I looked at the saddle and there was some oats and grain. 
That smelled like sweet. That was amazing. The horse was amazing, especially the police officers. And my dream job when I grow up is I want to be a police dispatcher with a police department. Well, 911 dispatcher, I should say. We had all, almost all of our campers from last year return, and uh, they were they were pleased to come back. They just had a blast, saw their old friends, made new friends. We can see those kids not only grow in stature, but also grow in their social skills and their ability to, to get along and communicate. And we just saw really great strides in those kids from year to year. We went swimming at Swope Park Pool. I loved it. Like I was like swimming underwater the whole time and jumping in like a million times a day. I really like to swim without a life jacket, Miss Chris. And she really helped me a lot, and I like that. Because I, I, I think I've always wanted to swim without a life jacket. So swimming without a life jacket was really fun. I haven't swam without a life jacket before, I don't, I don't think. I don't remember. I know when I was really little, I didn't have a life jacket. My mom would hold me in her arms, and we would swim, and she'd hold me. I, did, I didn't want her to hold me because I wanted to go swim, but... <laughs> I didn't have a life jacket, so it wasn't really safe. Think about kids who, for the first time, uh, are doing archery, are uh, swimming, are um, doing a nature walk, and, and touching and feeling new things that they've not seen or felt or, or touched before. It's just a neat thing for, for these kids to have those types of experiences. At the same time, they're learning life lessons, socialization skills, things that are going to make them more competitive when they're ready to go off to college, when they're ready to uh, get their first job. Uh, those types of experiences that are soft skills that are not necessarily taught in school. This is proof that even though you have a vision problem, try new things and persevere and just get to know your surroundings and how to use stuff. Sometimes there's obstacles or something. You just have to get away, like find a way to get away from them. And your friends can help you a little along the way. Me and Abby and Lily and Megan and Hunter and I guess we're all friends. We're all friends. Both last year and this year has been as a teacher, as um, I think just a human being. It's been really, um, it's been really moving to see these kids step up, rise to the occasion, and have a good time. And I don't know how many of them at the beginning of the week said, oh, I'm nervous, and we saw tears on Monday morning. And those are the same kids today that are like, when, is, when do I get to come to camp next year? After our first year of camp, we set a goal to double it, and we more than succeeded. We want to thank the community for their help, but we need ongoing support to make Adventure Camp happen. We want camp to grow again next year, so please consider a donation to Alpha Point Adventure Camp.